Hi, and we're back. Uh, it's the ABC Murders uh, by Agatha, Agatha Christie's ABC Murders. Um, and we are, you know, working on figuring things out. Okay, so that got us up to her room. Um, so we will investigate things here. Looking at all the clothes she took out, Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date? Hmm. A box of new stockings. It looks like Betty has a very busy life. Lots of stuff. But he liked luxury and going out. And being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. Don't mind the kitty in the background. <sighs> it looks like Betty was also a music lover. The same as her family. Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. Well then. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Let's go to the far side. Oh, looks like I missed something. This small key should be useful to me. I've finished with this sub. All right. I've finished with this subject. <sighs> Medicine to prevent voice loss. Did Betty have problems with her voice? Maybe she did. Oh. While we're here. Something on this clock bothers me. Actually, hold on. Let's... Ah! Phone drop. Okay. All good. Never mind. I will restart. Um, yes, I will quit anyway, because we haven't started it. Um... A record sleeve with an unwritten title. Betty must have recorded a demo. I'd be interested to hear it. I have not finished inspect. Okay. That was all that was. Something on this clock bothers me. Well, yes, because there's something sticking out of it. Strange. A sheet of paper is blocked in the clock. Hmm. Alright. So, let's start up top. What a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. Okay. I'm not sure I know how to solve that one yet. So let's look for clues about the box. This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. Okay. So it's that one. This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. Okay. Oh, that one looks a little different. I will hit that one. Hmm, could the school be slight? Hmm, right. could the school be slightly loose? Hmm, could the school be slightly loose? And this is where I was talking about, um, the way... Hmm, could the school be slightly loose? The controls are, during certain puzzles. Um... Hmm, could the school be... Yes, yes, we have decided it is, Perot. Hmm, could the... Ay, ay, ay. Hmm, could the school be slightly loose? I apologize. Hmm, <sighs> could... Hmm, could... There it 
it goes. Okay. Ooh. Before I heard it and myself. Okay. This wooden panel is blocked. I can't. This metal disc is stuck. Okay. That's not helpful. Okay, so we get to play with clock hands. Joy. Um. This wooden panel is... This decoration appears. Okay. This decoration so, appears to be f based on last when we had of these. Good. It should be possible to open the wooden panel. Whoa. Look, a key. Okay. This could be useful. So I'm going to assume um, that that, so three, two, one, two, has something to do with the placement over here. Um, if I could get there from here, um, okay, mm, there we go. So uh, okay, so these have positions. Okay, so. <laughs> Assuming since the western world left is one and then as we progress to the right we get more positive. I'm gonna go with we got three and then we got well, that's three. Alright, there's one and both of these uh, need to be two so that should do it. Yay! Alright, now has yeah that's nice. Um, that was unexpected. Okay. And... Ah! Something clicked on the front of the clock. Whoa! Ah. Uh. Let's see. Oh, yay. The door opened. All of the letters. This could be useful. Betty, I enjoyed a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we will see each other again very soon. D. My dearest Betty, I know that your art is already spoken for, but you are the most beautiful dancer I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am impatient to see you again. Adrian. So, we have no new clues that need to be solved, so that's kind of frustrating, but, um, it's okay, um, we'll figure it out. All right. Alright, maybe... Family photos and fires. Family photo... Alright, anything over here? That is needing to be seen? I don't think so. So, alright, we can grab that and, uh... Oh look, a keyhole. Let's see if this will help us out. Um. Let us see. What is this cupboard hiding? Weird word, cupboard. Uh, cup, cupboard. Or cupboard. Alright. Um. These are fun. 
So we got a whole, a half, one, or quarter, whole, half, one, eighth, sixteenth, thirty second rest. Woohoo! I remembered. Anyway, but that's the demo. Woohoo. Alright, now, since we're near a gramophone, let's go play. Ah! That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. It looks like something goes in here. Indeed. Um, no! Okay. Um, so, that is just frustrating. All right, um... There is bound to be a clue somewhere. So that's a hole, so let's set... Oh, not that big. Uh... Okay, so that'd be f four. So we need that and two more. So let's say... Since two of those, so one half of that. Which is another one of these. I heard the sound of a mechanism being triggered. Sweet. Whew. Okay, um, I don't know what we're gonna need. Oh, oh, what did this say? Sorry, I remembered letters and numbers, so, I, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe we got this, 78T. Ah! <sighs> Frustration. I apologize. Um, this is faster, I swear, I swear. So we go, oh, wrong way, seven, D, eight. I just have to put the record on the gramophone and start it. Okay. We hope. We hope. Right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't see any new, new bits coming up for anything. Okay. Ah, no. This is, this is the touchy controls issues that we've... Uh, I, I was talking about very very early in this part of the series where okay yeah okay so I'm gonna toss that on there I can flip that down and I think that starts it maybe no <laughs> oh right it looks like something goes in here yes Sorry, Betty, but it's not wise. The doctor said you should rest your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes. Well then, Betty. Betty was such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her salt? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course, she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she... Well, it's too late for all that now. It looks like this woman is single, but she has feelings for someone. She is looking so intensely at this photo. But is it really a sister that she's studying in this manner? They made the perfect couple, am I correct? Yes, in a way. She was pretty and he... Well? He's a bright man, with a promising career ahead of him. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong.
Donald appeared to be very much in love with your sister. Yes, he was mad about her. Mad, you say? Being madly in love can often be destructive, and Mr. Fraser was known for being jealous, I believe. No more than average. Men are always slightly possessive, especially when they are with a pretty woman. I am not your enemy, Mademoiselle Bernard. And you are not my friend either, Mr. Poirot, sir. Yes, but your lies are not helping Mr. Fraser. Or you, for that matter. This case is much more complex than you think. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes. You have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man. Slightly reserved, too. And as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent that he was frightened. And when was this? The first That's time was good. about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying one day, one day, well, he'd commit murder. That's not good. So, you were afraid that he would become our main suspect. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Exactly. Had you not told me about the case, I would never have dared to tell you about this little matter. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine for one instant that he would hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. All right. Um, I'm going to finish this here. We'll come back to this in the next video. Went a little long this time. I apologize. Anyway, um, hope you're enjoying the meandering. Um, hopefully I'll be able to think of more critical things to say. I haven't had that going on right now so uh anyway thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't uh constructive criticism always welcome if you want to see something else let us know um leave it down in the comments below we will read them i promise anyway uh see you next time thanks for watching meandering <laughs>